Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for PNBSO credit officer exam that is the cash flow statement. So my name is Ramandeep Singh and let's start the session within 8 to 9 minutes we are going to cover the whole chapter with MCQs right. So let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and PNBSO credit officer course. It's available on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, live sessions and interview preparation course. Link to the uh, course is available in the description. You can check all these students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. So let's start the session students. So let's take an example of Ram. So Ram is a guy and he wanted to start a t-shirt business. He wants to manufacture t-shirts, usko t-shirt banana, right? So to start making t-shirts, pehle usko apna premises set karna padega, factory set up karna padega, right? Factory banana padega, land purchase karni padegi, factory banayega, machinery purchase karega and uh, factory, plant, one time expenses apne sare kar dega ye, right? Okay, sara setup, isko aap bolo, setup expenses sare kar liye. Sara setup karne ke baad, he needs what? He needs raw material, raw material wagara, day to day expenses, raw material, labor hire karni hai, usko pay karna hai, right? Then uh, electricity, uh, electricity ke liye usko pay karna hai, okay? electricity electricity ya gas wagara right uh, electricity gas carriage so ye apna first wala ho gaya setup cost and these are let's say operational cost operational ya day to day jo bhi aapki cost hai to ye sari wo hogi raw material labor electricity and gas okay iske baad ye sab karne ke liye ram needs money Ram needs to take a loan. Ram ko paisa chahi. Wo bank ke paas jayega. Wo apne friends ke paas jayega. Wo kisi lender ke paas jayega. Right? And he is going to get loan. And maybe after two years, two saal ke baad, teen saal ke baad, Ram has some additional cash with him. And he wants to make some interest on that cash. So uske liye Ram is going to do some financial activities. So... Ram is going to take a loan. Ya phir Ram is going to pay interest on his loans, right? So all the cash activities, jo cash ka aana aur jana hai, you can divide the all the activities into three categories. The first one, the setup ka cost hai, aapka setup wali jitne bhi aapki thi one time, non-current aapki jo liabilities thi, वो सारी आ गई एंड देन ऑपरेशनल एंड देन फाइनेंशियल ऑपरेशनल में आपका डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज हैं फॉर एग्जांपल रॉ मटेरियल लेबर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गैस लेट्स से राम स्टार्टेड द बिजनेस ऑफ टी-शर्ट जो आपका टी-शर्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग जो आपकी टी-शर्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में आपकी जो टी-शर्ट मैन्युफैक्चर हो रही है राइट right? उसकी सेटअप में खर्चा सारा आ रहा है फैक्ट्री प्लांट मशीनरी ऑल दैट all that cost is investing cost, right? So, up factory purchase kar rahe ho, right? You are purchasing land, you are purchasing machinery, heavy machinery. That is uh, non-current uh, liability, non-current asset aap kharid rahe ho, right? Fixed asset koi kharid rahe ho. That are setup cost, ya isko aap investing cost, uh, investing uh, jo hai uh, cash flow activities bol sakte hai. Then operational, then financing, act, uh, financial activities are there. So total three kind of activities are there. We are going to understand in the next slides. Cash flow from operating activities. So the operating activities on cash flow statement includes any source and use of cash from business activities. Cash from business activities. Wo sara jo aapka cash transaction hai. कोई भी सेल और सेल ऑफ आपके प्रोडक्ट्स रॉ मटेरियल आपने परचेज किया डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज में आपके जो भी खर्चे हो रहे हैं जो भी इनकम हो रही है 
So that can be known as operating cash flow from operating activities day to day. डे टू डे में आपका जो भी एक्सपेंसेस हो रहा है डे टू डे में आपके जो भी रेवेन्यूज आ रहे हैं ऑल दॉज आर कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटीज सो दीज ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटीज माइट इंक्लूड रिसीड्स फ्रॉम सेल्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स इनकम टैक्स पेमेंट्स पेमेंट मेड टू सप्लायर्स ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज सैलरी ऑफ वेजेस रेंट पेबल और रेंट पेड any other type of operating expense gas expenses or any uh, for lubrication whatever you are paying right for oil and everything jo bhi aapke business mein day to day carriage uh, ke liye aap jo pay kar rahe ho day to day mein whatever expenses that you are making or the receipts you are making in day to day activities and these activities are happening every other day or every day डे टू डे आपके बिजनेस जो चल रहा है उसमें जो भी आपके खर्चे हो रहे हैं ऑल दीज आर कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम कैश फ्रॉम ऑपरेटिंग एक्टिविटीज कैश फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज सो इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज इंक्लूडिंग कैश एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू नॉन करंट एसेट्स राइट सो नॉन करंट एसेट से रिलेटेड कोई भी एक्टिविटी है कैश की दैट इज इन्वेस्टिंग फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज so you made a long term investment you bought a property you bought land that is cash from investing activities you bought a property you bought any plant you bought any equipment equipment whose life is 10 years that is a that is not a operating cost that is an investing activity cash generated from sale of land from uh, that is a investing activities cash paid for an investment in another company you bought shares of another company for maybe a longer period of time that is not your business aap t-shirt banate ho aapko t-shirt banate banate let's say pichle saal 50 lakh rupaye ka profit ho gaya aapko samajh nahi aa raha us 50 lakh ka kya karna you bought shares of reliance reliance industries so the money that you are going to make ya aapne jo paisa wahan pe invest kiya that is not related to your day to day activities That is not related. So cash from operating activities, यहाँ पे वही activities, वही cash flow की transactions आप record करते हो that are directly related to your business. If your business is to make t-shirts, everything that is related to t-shirt, you bought threads, you bought cotton, you bought uh, needles, सुई खरीदी है आपने You paid to the लेबर you paid the the phone bill of of your uh, प्रमाइसिस इंटरनेट का बिल पे किया आपने राइट एनी एक्सपेंसिस रिलेटेड टू द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टी शर्ट इफ यू आर अ टी शर्ट कंपनी अदर देन दैट लॉन्ग टर्म में जो भी आप कर रहे हो दैट इज कैश फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग एक्टिविटीज देन वॉट इज कैश फ्रॉम फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटीज सो वॉट आर फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटीज सो द लोन दैट यू आर टेकिंग द लोन दैट यू आर टेकिंग that is a financing activities financing activities includes cash activity related to non current liabilities and owners equity please remember that investing activities related to non current assets right operating activities cash from day to day activities financing activities related to non current liabilities and owners equity right so what are non current liabilities and ek owners equity right नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटी में क्या है लॉन्ग टर्म लोन दैट यू हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द बैंक आपने कोई लोन लिया है बैंक से दैट इज अ नॉन करंट लाइबिलिटी ऑब्वियसली एक दिन के लिए तो बैंक लोन देता नहीं है दो दिन के लिए अगर सीसी भी है दैट इज अ स्टैंडिंग सीसी राइट सो दैट लोन इज वॉट इट्स अ फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटीज बींग अ कंपनी बींग अ लिस्टेड कंपनी या इवन नॉन लिस्टेड कंपनी यू पे डिविडेंट यू टू योर शेयर होल्डर्स इवन दैट इज अ फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटी राइट You are not paying dividend in uh, in day to day operations. Day to day operations, me, you are dividend not giving, right? Dividend you have given, or you have taken debt from somewhere, from some bank, from stock sale, you have taken IPO, you have taken IPO, right? All these activities, the cash generated or cash paid in these activities are what? These are financing activities, right? So let's do some question. You will understand the topic in a better way. so cash flow statement is ba- is based upon it's made on the cash basis ye cash basis pe banti hai cash flow statement cash basis pe banti hai uh, we are recording the cash transactions fund flow statement accrual basis pe banti hai please remember that 
a fund uh, a financial statement showing inflow and outflow of cash during a particular period of time is statement of cash flows SEF match the following uh, cash flow activities very important you can pause the video and answer it yourself in me se kya operating activities ho sakti hai collection of cash from debtors that is what that is an operating activity purchase of equipment for cash sale of machinery dividend received what is that these are what investing activities financing activities may issue of share capital repayment of loans dividend paid all these are what financing activities okay i hope that is correct yes so these kind of question you are going to find in your exam which of the following are cash and cash equivalents so uh, stock and short term investments are cash and cash equivalent cash and bank to obviously go to cash here right uh on the basis of following information you need to find out the total cash flow so basically a debtor account hai if you are a commerce background student to aapko ye already pata hi hoga so this is a simple debtor account uh so uh, balance brought forward 20000 sale karke 2 lakh ka cash aa gaya aur 1 lakh 90000 rupaye you paid and 30000 is carried forward theek hai so 1 lakh 90000 is a net credit uh, uh 1 lakh 90000 ka aapko cash receive hua hai right सो क्रेडिट सेल दिया हुआ है टू लाख का सो वी जस्ट मेड द डेटर्स अकाउंट डेटर अकाउंट बना के यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड इट आउट विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉट ट्रू फंड फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज अ वाइडर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज ट्रू कन्वर्जन ऑफ डिबेंचर्स इन टू इक्विटी शेयर्स इज नॉट इन फ्लो ऑफ फंड डिबेंचर्स को आपने इक्विटी में कन्वर्ट कर दिया इसमें कोई कैश का लेने देने ही नहीं है डिबेंचर को इक्विटी में कन्वर्ट कर दिया कोई कैश ले नहीं रहा कोई कैश दे नहीं रहा so this is not a inflow of fund okay so let's move forward uh, issue of debentures when you issue debentures you take money if inflow of fund is greater than outflow then excess goes in uh, increase in working capital agar aapke paas zyada hai paisa aa raha hai pay aapne kam kiya hai cash 10000 gaya hai 20000 aa gaya additional 10000 rupees that is your working capital because aapka current asset badh gaya right uh fund flow statement is accrual basis is made on accrual basis right while cash flow statement is just recording the cash transactions it is uh, it is made on cash basis which of the following is our application of funds so if you are paying a uh, dividend if you are paying tax if you are uh, Uh, redeeming debentures debentures basically apne loan liya hua hai aapki company ne you are paying it back all these are application of funds so all b c d are correct so i hope you like the today's short uh, session and if you like the way we teach you can join the pnbso credit officer course link to join the course is available in the description we provide the video classes notes quizzes live sessions weekly quizzes and the interview preparation course link to join the course is available in the description check the description this is our whatsapp number where you can uh, ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and that's i guess all for today a uh, list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and uh, we are really really happy for these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and you can be one of them in the future by joining our classes and that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye